And I've had, now had six mechanics looking at my, look at my sliding door hinge and, and trying to work out why it doesn't close properly. And none of them have been able to solve the problem. So I've, I'm spending today looking at everything and trying to work out what's causing the problem. Um, one problem, one fault that it could be the cause, or one of the causes, is the um, seal round the uh, opening, um, the sliding door rubber seal. Um, I fitted it myself and I phoned the supplier and they told me um, that the, there's um, a, a small section, it's about five inches long they said it had a flap on it on one side it's basically a square a square of rubber you can see it you know it's it's this thing that goes there it's a square of rubber or one piece um you either have to take the door off or you have to cut it um to get it on and they said that there was supposed to be a flap a small five inch square flap on on one side and that would tell you which which side you had to um you know which way around it went he said, "Put the flap where the flap is. Put it at the latch." Now I thought he meant. Wait a minute, where's my finger? I thought he meant there because I thought that was what he meant by the latch. But now I know, latch. The latch, the main latch, is actually there. So the the, the where the flap should have been because mine didn't have a flap, but I could see that was a, a five-inch section that had been glued in, obviously where the flap should have been. Um, so I put that there when obviously it should have been there. I've checked it on the internet. I've seen a photograph. Somebody kindly took a photograph of, of the one that he'd fitted and he showed the corners and he showed what the seal actually looks like because each side is different. You've got four different uh, forms glued together. And so I, I now know, and then I knew that I'd fitted mine wrong. So I've removed it all. Oh, it's a bloody nightmare to fit these things as well. Oh my goodness. It's enough to make a grown woman cry, and it, cry. it really is, and now I've had to do it two times. I've removed it, and I've refitted it. Now, one thing I, that did make it easier, uh, a lot easier, is that I read on the internet that you can use silicon glue, because that makes it slippy, and then it makes it stay in. Now, it does make it a lot easier, but you have to be careful to, well, it's not important. It, it's, to, to do it quickly and easily, you have to, um, put it in and and um, bunch it back up bunch, bunch it up again before the glue's dried otherwise you'll have to pull it back out put more wet glue on and do it again and that's what I had to do that a couple of times in a couple of places but most of the time it managed to s s uh, slip in a lot e more easily uh, so anyway I'm going to show you the forms on each side just in case you're going to do this job because I don't know if you can see it that's what, I mean, this is obviously a left hand drive vehicle, so you have to mirror this. I don't know if you can actually see it. That is not a big lip. It's just a small lip. The big lip, the side with the biggest lip, is over here at the back, at the back of the, of the door, where the, the latch is. Where's the latch? Oh, the latch is at the back of the door. That's the, the, the rod, the pin, I think they call it, that the latch goes on. So that's the big flap. And then, that's that one up there. If you can see it. And that one there. Oh my God, look at all that gunk. These are the corners. The corners uh, can help you to work out which goes where. The corners are the most difficult things to get in because they kind of pop out a bit. So it's best to start with the, with the corners and then bunch up to the corners, and, that, and then you're not pulling you're not pulling on the corners and put plenty of glue on <coughs> silicon glue, clear silicon glue. There's that a corner it's over there. It's a bit hard to see. That's where the section is. You can't see it, but there is a seal with a five inch section. And then down there. Where am I? Oops. Pressing buttons on my tablet. And if you have a good look at that one, that is the most rounded form. It's 
it's a kind of a beading shape and that goes at the bottom I'll just touch it so you can see it kind of waggles like that and to get the, them in like I said put some silicon on put some silicon on and then you you do the corner first and then you, you, you smooth silicon onto the back and the sides that are going the, the parts that are going to touch the the, the um, you know the, the metal and then you you pull and then that makes it thinner and after you've once you've pulled it you can push it in and then you let go and some of it will all, all automatically pull back again the, you know the elastic the rubber will suck back in again but you need to then pull it down even more with lots of pulling down um, make sure you do pull it down a lot otherwise it's you're going to stretch it and you're going to have too much material now you can cut it down I cut it down there and I put some glue in the gap that's dried now um, but a, a while you're doing it keep checking that it's not too long or too short a bit like putting tights on you see being a woman's really helpful for doing man's work you have to uh, keep checking that you're not going to have loads of <laughs> left over. Um, but, oh God, bloody mosquito. I've been bitten to death doing this job. Oh my God, I've got great big red bumps all over me now. Well, that was a horrible job, but I'm glad uh, that I've done it because at least now I'm, I'm absolutely sure that it's done right. And it's all glued in. Hopefully it's not going to come out. And so I'm going to try the door in a minute, see if it makes any difference. <laughs>